Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Two Against Overlords uh, campaign with uh, Tabcat. He's done a fantastic job to get the last mission going and I managed to upgrade most of our weapons. Damn right, I spent the uh, resources including the alien alloys but it was for good cause because Operation Knife Blade is uh, on Knife's Edge. It will be a very close mission, a Haven Assault, and a lot of our team is more or less disabled. So I brought a couple of uh, known faces and a few newcomers. XQS6 uh, with an upgraded uh, assault rifle will join us. Black Magic and Mad Dog, typically characters that uh, Tabcat played so far will be going in with us uh, this mission. Uh, I opted for the DLC shotgun and upgraded one extra assault rifle for uh, Black Magic. Additionally, Shadow here uh, will be leading the team from the front line and I took a uh, tech specialist. I was on the edge of taking a sniper with us uh, because snipers are fantastic, don't get me wrong, but we need to push in uh, fast and furious and the bulb hubs, uh, which the tech specialists can use, are already upgraded. So it's just kind of that power spike, which I was looking for more damage and uh, more actions, because they can use a protocol and shoot at the same time. That persuaded me in um, giving them a chance. So without further ado, let's jump into the mission. All right, we landed. Wow, this is going to be another forest map. Gotta love these. Uh, they offer pretty advanced tactical management, mainly because there are so many shooting angles. Okay, Viper and um, a sector. Let's position in a way where we might be able to hit both of them. On the move. It is clear. Seems doable. Okay. On Seems like a full overwatch to me. Oh no, there is a chosen. And it is the hunter. Well, maybe that's a better choice actually. Berserkers, oh. Can summon robotic enemies. All right. Immune to explosions sucks. Uh, near immune to critical strike sucks. Well, he's brittle to Templars. Okay, well, he will not have a good time against Hogbite, but he does have a decent time against everybody else. And with 35 hit points and two armor, he is reasonably tanky. Okay, first pack pulled. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh yeah, we don't want to fight them yet. Okay, well, this is not going so great. Let's just remove some of the cover. I want to see who we're fighting against. Okay, does anyone here have a stock? No, not yet. Whatever you say. But what we could do is, I think, combat protocol into making sure that the Viper definitely dies. Okay, easy. You don't hesitate to pull the trigger. I like that. On the move. 
moving up. 44% is good enough for me. But unfortunately good enough to hit. I'm going. Moves up overwatches. Well we do have a problem, don't we? I will reposition. And the main issue that I'm seeing is this guy could kill civilians. There is a chance for crit, and but that would uh, there's a 50/50 also to be discovered. We are compromised. Okay. Well, at least we saved the civilians. Never mind, uh, we did not. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. This is just too Okay, Berserk has always have been a bigger challenge. Thought you could hide, eh? Good, they are focusing on the Berserker, that's okay. Problem is with two points of damage and 28 hit points, this is just not going to make a huge dent. We're moving up. Time to focus on the Berserker. Moving to position. Uh, how? That, that's the eighty percent chance of actually stunning him, I'm going. which might be the right play here. Never mind. Never mind. We're overwatching. Shadow moves over here. Overwatches as well. 15% chance to stun. Uh, can't suppress him. I think we're just overwatching. Yeah, well, that's a problem. Come out, come out wherever you are. We need to make sure that we're not losing more soldiers, uh, that we're not triggering more of the enemy pack. So, despite losing a couple of civilians, I think we actually need to approach this carefully. If we kill the um, the There's sector soldier. Never mind, I was about to say if we're killing him, that second cell activates, but it has just activated. Look, I think. We need proper positions more than anything else. Roger that. Shadow I hate to break it to you, is going to conceal and I really want to push forward. On it. Full cover. Full cover. Full cover. 
We need to push in uh, to the resistance cell, and it's not a surprise that this guy is continuing to uh, move in further. But he's being followed and he has also exposed himself. More sectors are coming in. And there is another pack back here, okay. But just reducing the forest a bit. Better line of sight. Oh, and also critting him. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. No problem, boss. Okay, we killed him. Because uh, the resistance operator already ran. Save three, but there are still a lot of enemies left. Is there a way to get on top of that building? Oh yeah, there is, but it's unfortunately on the very back side of uh, the building. I go where you tell Carefully me. advancing. I don't want to be called out yet. Will do. Moving forward. Go, go, go. And moving forward. Well, cool. We just lost a civilian to burning because he was standing literally in the fire. As much as I love being two steps ahead of everyone, Commander, I was almost hoping we wouldn't be having this little chat today. Yeah, move over here so that I can remote start this explosive. That's the Elder's Hunter. From what we've heard, he's a relentless tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. One more shot. No need to focus on him, he's already dead. I can explode that whole thing next turn. By the way, relatable XCOM moment, you uh, talk to the resistance operators uh, as if anything that you're saying would remotely change their course of actions. Spoiler alert, it does not. They continue to do whatever they feel is the right uh, thing to do. Really? Look, that, eight, that is eight points of damage. How far could we launch? Hmm. Moving to position. 
Would that hit? Yes, it would. Indeed. Okay. So a bit of a cheeky play here. But we're doing that. Into... That, that's a double whammy, in the hopes of killing at least two sectors. Okay, so two sectors down. And that will be the third one, who's standing right next to it. Efficient action economy, just to reduce the number of targets that we have to deal with. There is another Berserker here, who I didn't, do not want to trigger. How far? Could almost reach that. This might trigger the Berserker, but I have limited options here. Uh, the operate, uh, the um, resistance operative should not die from this one. Not enough damage. Here they do have five or six hit points. Damn it. Desperate. Well, apparently that was incorrect. But um, just for reference, um, letting Letting the uh, faces one live is not an option either. I can handle that. Main problem here is they do have an AoE attack, and AoE attacks are going to kill multiple. So we're actually net net saved, uh, saved civilians. Now oh, that's a big problem. Too many hit points to go through. I'm not sure if I can weather this storm. Problem is not going through all of the enemies. The problem is mainly making sure that we're not going to lose all of our the civilians. I mean, look at that. It's, it's just the berserkers are not taking a break. She never fails me. Not a very clean shot, I'll admit. Yeah, not good. You you don't need to focus on him. That's a good idea. Yeah, focus on the sector it. And even that is an okay idea. This won't end well for you. Trust me. I've seen it. On the move. Moves into cover. You'll be fine. Heals up. Yeah, let's just get that guy down to seven points. Give me a minute. Reload, kill, and we have Silent Hunter.
Uh, continuing with the Berserker, really. Hair trigger, baby. Let's just go. Fabulous damage. Really good. Um... Moves up. I think we can do a little cheeky trick here. They are standing almost above one another. Which means this should hit both with a grenade. And some little falling damage on top. Good. position and I hope I could get the Berserker down. No, there is no chance to crit, but it is an execution chance. Need to stun the other Berserker. We're losing too many civilians. Oh yeah, good, good, good. Not good, not good, not good. Yeah, if you could focus on the low berserker. Uh, yep, that was good. That was fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. I might be faceless ones over here. I'm ready. Free reload. On your order. Moves up. No faceless one, that's good. And let's just take this berserker out for now. Okay, we have one more turn to deal with you. Um, before we move in further, need to hit that soldier and need to hit it hard. We got combat protocol if we wanted to finish him. Five percent. You know, I need to reload at some point. Now is a decent time. It's not great to have that shot. Oh yeah, but well, we clutched it. Hair trigger could help us. We can't be blinding protocol. Currently in full cover, we could reduce it to half cover. I'm not sure if remote start counts as an explosion, but I think it does. So we don't have other good uh, remote starts, so might as well use that. Which he's still in full cover.
Um, you know what? Aid protocol over there helps one of the civilians to have a little bit more defense. And then there is no downside of shooting. I would uh, take suppression here. And I think we're overwatching. Okay, cool. Alright, good hit. He still has the suppression penalty. Mm, it's getting closer. We do have a problem. I'll first of all go for the Berserk. There might be an execution. Oh yeah! Weapon is hot. I love it. Oh, that's good. But if you fight against those many Berserkers, you need a little bit of uh, luck with uh, hair triggers and so on. No problem, boss. Moves to here. Damn it, Comet Protocol de doesn't deal enough damage. Uh, and we missed. Close. Moves up. Good. We've now eliminated everything and we have a little cushion. Just a little bit. As there is one more civilian that could die without failing the mission. Shotgun to the face. Works. Hair trigger. Yes, baby. Good. More enemies to deal with. Let's dance. Okay, now we are out of uh, out of uh, further uh, um, operatives that are allowed to die. Our chance of taking this one over. Not good enough. Not good enough. Good, we're moving up. Ninety percent shot missed. That's unfortunate. Just when we need to clutch it, things are not going our way. All right, need to reload. Drone is almost dead. We're not going to take chances here. So it's actually combat protocol into kill. Into reloading.
I'm presenting Black Magic here as a good target for him to actually shoot. Ah, uh, that could be a kill. Oh. Last moment clutch, guys. It was down to the last civilian. And much more of a... Uh, of a close mission than it might have looked at the beginning. What an overall clutch mission. But, on the upside, that uh, saved us uh, the region. And I think our team did reasonably well. So, what did Tapkit do? Remote start into Shrapnel, into Silent Killer, I like it. Oh, Shredder is good. I like Sting. So we're going with Sting, but I also like Shredder. It's a great ability. Wilson the second has gotten his adaptive plating. That's not bad. I personally like uh, Overload because it allows your Comet Protocol to get 200% damage on mechanical units and it makes it really strong. But I will say that extended signal range, I got to appreciate that more and more, requires you to not be at the front line and you still have a really, really long engagement range with it. But I think we're going with Overload here. And we got ourselves a Reaper Captain. Repeater, Stock, Advanced Stock. Actually quite a good reward overall. I am wondering, GTS, can we upgrade Yes, we can. 150 supplies. <laughs> and the game gives us supplies. Well, where's the black market? Right there. That's the first thing we want to do. Psyche needs money. Uh, data pads are good. I like them. But if they are currently very interested and you get a hundred per uh, I think we should sell them Warlock Corpse we're selling we're going to sell one that in, the, in itself was 200 uh, we do have enough into uh, some of it is good I'm I'm wondering, we need more alloys, right? Yeah, because we want to upgrade weapons. So let me purchase a VAT immediately. We don't need Illyrium yet. Good, back to what I was doing before, Guerrilla Tactic School. Squad size two, no brainer. And you do have Intel and we can make contact. Uh, actually, a couple of good options here. But making contact is the right call. We want to get the continent bonus and more income. Gauss weapons. Tech rifle, mech cannon. And we got modular vector rifles. Um, additional weapon upgrade slot. Hmm. I tell you what. It is not bad. It's not bad, but it's not great either. It's not even the damage one, it is just the 
upgrade slot. I like Reapers, but their strength usually doesn't necessarily come from the weapon. You can slap on a normal expanded, superior expanded magazine on a, a vector rifle and just enjoy the, um, the banish ability with all of its shots. Yes, if you have a scope on it, it's good. Uh, but are we really pausing alien biotech for that? Let's start with it and double check something. We have 13 days, so alien biotech is needed to build the next, but it'll, it'll take 13 days. So we do have theoretically time uh, to get the vector rifle. In terms of weapon upgrades, I personally would definitely take the mech cannon and then gauss rifle and only then the um, vector rifle but there is also a shortage of alien alloys let's take the gauss rifle because everybody else could theoretically take um, assault rifles for now and the reason why I did it is I want to have low uh, alloys that raise the chance of spawning alloys in terms of a mission or um, something that we can scan for. Very good, look at that. Hogbite's mobility has increased by one. We also got a nice... We have a nice uh, um, scientist, which will now bring us up to four. So we're actually making a good progress. And our field medic can be promoted. Adrenaline rush, my perspective, uh, the healing route is the way to go here. Advent's got their propaganda machine working over but yeah, that's good. Now, back to what we were doing, covert action missions. Dodge uh, plus five and soldiers bond. But we don't have enough for soldier capture. Uh, we could uh, theoretically get supplies, so if we really wanted to do this mission, that would not be a bad one. Dodge plus five is good. Even if it means they have to endure the pains of being human. I just hope they see it that way. Dodge plus eight. Digital network and resistance uh, ring cost reduction, fifty percent. It's quick. It's not bad. We don't need a skirmisher yet. I wonder, I mean, quick missions are good. We don't need to yet go too deep into the hunt for these guys. Hogbite could use uh, the additional dodge. And let's use them together with the field medic, because that's exactly uh, what we've done the last time. No soldier is captured. This here isn't bad because it will save us money. So it's essentially the equivalent of um, 200 uh, um, supplies. But it's not why I'm doing the mission. Dodge uh, uh, plus eight for six days mission is really good. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We well, we get scolded for a mediocre month. I think we're actually did uh, well. The we got we get the sabotage and the lowering of uh, income. 
And we're, we're seeing the warlock is at half, which means slowly but surely we should also go and uh, try to infiltrate his stronghold. Undying loyalty sucks, but needs to be countered. This isn't bad. It's okay, but we're really not uh, getting great resistance orders at the moment. Let's continue making contact. And we're good. Good. Weapon modifications are increased. That was important. Uh, we got greater resolve here. Not my favorite uh, continent bonus. Experimental ammunition is instantly completed. Also not my favorite uh, one, but the laboratories are actually nice. So we're soon going to make contact over here, but it'll cost us a lot of intel. Um, let's start with a supply drop, then we build a tower here, and then we're getting Pursue of Knowledge. That extra 20% research will make a lot of difference, because you want to have in, uh, enough research capacity. Good. Let's see. We got aim plus a superior weapon. That's not bad. Health, mobility and ability points. Mobility and uh, faction influence. Loot and hacking. And unfortunately the resistance order is utterly bad. So Executive decision, we're going to go and locate the stronghold. Out of all of uh, the available people, tech specialist is the one that I can live with uh, mm, to be on this mission the most. Let's put him there. And there is still a moderate chance for an ambush. So really what we want to do is put a field medic through as well. Just giving them basic equipment, this is fine. This is fine. I think we're okay. Just in case, the, uh, case there is an ambush, we should be able to fight that off. I'm not sure if I will be playing it or Tapcat. I just want to make sure that we're ready. And that'll progress our search for, uh, for the Warlock. Now... We can relatively easily upgrade that. Power relay. Could upgrade that. And we could upgrade that here soon as well. Uh, one of our research is delayed for seven days. Is that the case? Good. Well, I tell you what. Um, vector rifles are no longer a thing. We're instead getting a switch in research. Sucks, but it is not the end of the world. Good. You can see we've upgraded the digital network. That'll give us another resistance order. And this training here would be helpful. 
We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Good. So far, we're okay on income. I will leave it with almost 200 supplies. That's, that's decent. Well, I shouldn't say that because we'll be investing into another tower and then the idea is to expand even further. Cool. Finally, the infirmary, which is the next big thing. Instant lost autopsy for the ultrasonic lure. Instant sector autopsy for mine shields. And I think uh, we're going to go for a data pad just so that we do have enough intel. Yeah, that's okay. Now, we do have some supplies which theoretically would allow us to build mine shields or ultrasonic lures just so that we do have a, a, a more wide uh, range of uh, equipment. Got the training facility. Which finally will allow us to go through a couple uh, of our soldiers. Trojan here uh, could go for just a solid two hit points and grenade throw. Throwing a grenade no longer ends the turn is also really good combined um, with a couple of other options it's it's great lightning reflexes is good as well i think we're going lightning reflexes because it's such a secure method to deal with overwatch officers might be more resourceful than your average trooper but I doubt our forces will have any trouble bringing in a test subject for Tiger to look at especially asking for a live one there's not a whole lot that's good I want to save the joint points I want to save the joint ability uh, ability points so that Tapcat has a chance to also really work on some of his favorite builds i don't want to take that away from him uh, can't approve a bond at the moment but soon we will get um, an influx of money and with that we can then build the infirmary which actually will uh, solve this problem here wounded for 12 days completely unacceptable Good, 60 intel, that's good. Our team is actually quite efficient. Uh, do we have Advent Max? We don't. For whatever reason, that hasn't happened. Um, officer would get Proving Grounds. And whilst I can appreciate Proving Grounds being good, I actually want uh, the infirmary next, so there is no immediate need for that. Um, Viper and Mutant would require Mutant uh, Proving Grounds. Uh, Mutant Grenade Upgrade, Viper uh, Medkit Upgrade. The Faces one isn't bad for Mimic Beacons. So maybe we're just going to take that. I am at a I must admit, having successfully completed the operation okay. necessary to remove the commander's implant, I am intrigued by the possibility of examining an And there is an infirmary. Now, wait a second. Likely have expired long before arrival today. I may rely on a faster, more invasive approach to remove. 
moving the chip this Definitely infirmary. And I don't want to wait too long, so we will need to speed that up and with that also sacrifice that we're not going to expand this fast, but the infirmary really, really is important. And finally, a couple more missions. So, major breakthrough, two blips that would almost put us at risk of... Uh, of needing to fight the project so it's potentially what we need to do and then we got this here undying loyalty got a an assault infantry oh, which is okay sergeant level also fine but yeah, I would potentially go for uh, for that mission. However, I could see... Oh, well, let's protect the device. I don't know if he wants to play that together with the loss. So this will be interesting. Oh, this will be interesting. Well... Tapcat left me a bit of a doozy with the um, with the defense mission, and now he does have uh, the choice between a rock and a hard place, uh, between two missions that are actually quite difficult. Um, but I'll leave that up to him. Future Tapcat uh, will need to deal with it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it. Uh, mm, check if the like button is a faceless one and if it morphs when you click it. I promise you it might not, so just make sure that it hasn't hit there. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.